This is the DJI wireless microphone system. You've probably seen a lot of people use them. They're lightweight, they're reliable, and they sound great. But there's just one problem. At the time of recording this video, they are $329. These, on the other hand, are the Hollyland Lark M1 microphones. And for just a couple of sacrifices, they could be a good alternative. And if you're wondering if the sound quality holds up, well, you're listening to them now. And they're only 150 bucks. So, looking at them side by side, I gotta give points for sexiness to the DJI system. You hold it, it feels premium, the plastic feels sturdy, it feels expensive. Uh, the Hollyland, on the other hand, it does feel a little cheaper. They are both plastic, but the Hollyland feels a bit more plastic. Uh, side by side, though, if I had to say which one's bigger, I would say package-wise, the DJI is a little bigger, but I don't see either one of these really taking up too much space in the camera bag. And this is just the cases. This is just the outside presentation. The DJI does get the points for that, but I digress. If we look around the casing on each one of them, uh, the DJI has a sleek black finish. Uh, it is textured along the front here with the four indicator lights to show your charge. Um, and then if we turn it around back, we do have the USB-C charging input. And then the Hollyland, almost the same. The plastic isn't as matte black. It's more of a, the light does shine off of it a little bit more, but it does have four indicator lights to show where you are charge wise. And then your charging is on the bottom. So if you, I guess it really doesn't matter, but if you like to have your case upright while it charges, once again, DJI, otherwise you do need to lay this one down to charge it. Okay, now if we open up these systems, we have a nice compact package here. The DJI system, everything just fits great, the way they're laid out, great. The Hollyland, same thing. They just look snug. They don't look like they're gonna be jostling around in there. They don't look like they're bouncing around or they're gonna get damaged if you're running around and these are in your camera bag. They look secure in there and they are secured by magnets. Yeah, bitch! Magnets! Both systems secured by magnets! DJI, little stronger magnet. Hollyland, weaker magnet, but magnets. Oh! We like magnets. Now that's just the looks. Uh, I'm not necessarily comparing the two microphones. I'm just showing that the Hollyland is a good alternative if you don't want to spend $320. There are plenty of reasons to buy this DJI microphone. But the Hollyland is not far behind and you're only spending half the amount that you would on the DJI system. But if you're not into the looks and the packaging, you're just interested in the specs and how they sound and the range of them, well, I've got a few numbers for you. I'm gonna read them because I don't necessarily have them, I'm bad with numbers in my head. But the DJI wireless system claims 820 feet of range. That is a long way, uh, very impressive. I personally never see myself being that far away from my subject. Uh, compare that to the Hollyland 650 feet of range. Once again, I'm probably not getting that far from my subject. Battery life on these, um, DJI claims uh, five and a half hours from the transmitters and five hours from the receiver, but the case that it comes in charges the batteries while you're out. So if you're getting low on battery, just pop them back in the case, close it up, let it charge up for a bit. This case can charge this whole system three times. That is awesome if you are running around getting interviews or maybe you just don't have time to go back and charge the rest of your system. It's always nice to be able to carry extra batteries for your camera and it's always good to be able to charge your microphones while you're out too. The Hollyland system claims eight hours of battery life and the case can charge it twice. That's still pretty good. I think with some planning ahead, that should be fine as well. Now here's where those sacrifices come into play. The DJI system, the microphones themselves have eight gigabytes of storage per microphone, allowing you to record up to 15 hours of uncompressed audio. You can record simultaneously the transmission to your camera as well as the audio 
that's being recorded to the microphone. That is a good safeguard if there's ever any interference or maybe you are breaking past that uh, that 820 foot range. Your microphones are gonna continue to record your subject and then you always just sync it back up in post. That could be a lifesaver. The Hololand system does not have that. And I'm gonna give a quick microphone test between the two and then I'm gonna focus more on the Hollyland system. So you've been hearing the Hollyland microphone this entire time. I think it sounds great. Check one, two, three, four, five. And that's the Hollyland microphone. And this is the DJI microphone. They both sound great. I'm impressed with both systems. One of them just happens to cost a little extra and have a few extra features. So this is me showing you the quality of the DJI microphones versus the Hollyland microphones. I have the Hollyland back on. This is what you're hearing. I'm gonna close up the DJI mics because we know what these sound like, we know what they have, but it's not about that. Let's focus on the Hollyland microphones. The Hollyland microphones do have three uh, volume inputs, low, medium, and high, I guess just depending on where you are. I like to stick with medium. I think it's a nice safe bet. Usually if I'm in a louder environment, maybe I'll go low just to make sure I can, I, I can always boost it in post, right? Uh, they do offer stereo and mono recording. I'm recording this one in mono uh, just because I'm using the single microphone. If I was using both, I would stereo a left and a right channel and, and go from there. The HoloLand system does offer a degree of noise cancellation as well. I currently have it off because my room that I'm recording this in doesn't have too much going on in it. But let's put that to the test. Okay, I've added a fan. Some hum is happening now. Hopefully, you, maybe you hear that. It's kind of hard not to. This is without the noise cancellation. And with just a press of a button, three, two, one. Here's it with the noise cancellation. I obviously can't hear it now, but this is a this is the demonstration. I've used it a few other times in outdoor act scenarios and it worked fine. This fan might be a little close, but this gives you a pretty good idea of what we're working with. All right, so let's talk about range now. We've already said that Hollyland says this can go somewhere around 650 feet of range. I personally never plan to be that far from my subject, but you can do it. Maybe. Let's put it to the test. So for perspective, a football field is 360 feet from end zone where I'm standing to end zone at the other end. So according to these specs, I should be able to go almost twice the distance of a football field away from the receiver. So let's put that to the test. So here I am in the end zone. Here I am 10 yards away from the receiver, 30 yards from the receiver. I am 80 yards from the receiver. And now I'm on the far end of the football field. And as you can hear, the audio is still crystal clear. But you know what? Let's push it even further. Okay, as you see, you can hear me, but you do not see me. And that is because I am at the furthest spot I can possibly be without going into the parking lot. And that just shows a testament to how far this range goes. And you gotta ask yourself, are you going to be shooting this far from your subject. Because that's pretty good. All right, so depending on what you're doing and if you can get by with some of those sacrifices that we talked about, if you're looking for just a bare bones, simple microphone system, as you can hear, it sounds great. It works pretty far. If you are looking for a cheaper microphone system, this is a good option. All right, guys, thanks for bearing with me through this. If you 
enjoyed this, like, subscribe, whatever YouTubers say to get you to follow them on here. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos, everything from reviews to the education side of video and photography, and hopefully we can see these videos get a little better. I'm new to being in front of the camera, so bear with me. Until next time, this has been fun.